All right, so now it is the next day and overnight, I did what everybody should have done the first time before you go fly this DJ FPV drone. And that is I tried out the FPV flight simulator that it comes with <laughs> that sort of steps you through the tutorial, how to fly it, all the buttons, how to disarm it, arm it. And then I also looked up how to get the true full manual mode enabled, changed those in the settings, changed a couple other things in the menus, and uh, now I'm ready to come back here and fly it again. But uh, unfortunately this morning it is a lot colder and it is super windy out here. I think it's roughly like 15 mile an hour consistent winds with gusts up to about 30 miles an hour. So of course that should make uh, this next flight even more interesting, right? Another thing I did was I enabled audio and it's supposed to transmit audio back to the to the goggles, um, which is something that the DJI FPV system doesn't do. So I'm curious to give that a try because I liked flying with audio on uh, my analog drone back a few years ago. Well, that's a little bit tricky to take off in manual mode, cause mostly probably because I have the uh, the stick uh, spring is there to auto center it. And it's also giving me a stick error. I don't know if that's because I have that spring set or if it's something else. But other things I changed is now it's a four by three picture and I've got less colors because I set it to D Cinelog, which it's kind of weird that it changes that for the goggles too. Let's see, is there a net in there? No, I don't see any net in that uh, goal. Whoa, so much wind. All right, and now I know the bottom left, the H height is how high off the, the ground I am. Let's do a little roll. And I definitely get live audio and it's pretty good. No crackling like I get with the analog stuff. It's not crazy loud. All right, let's go up to 300 feet. See how high that is. 100, 150, 200. There's 300 feet. 350. That's about what I would have guessed it would be. Let's see, how fast can I go? 73 miles an hour that way. Let's see, I bet if I go with the wind, I could beat that quite easily. Let's see, I have to go up this way a bit first and then turn around. Ninety nine point three is as fast as it'll at least tell me it's going. There must be a limiter there somehow. It's not doing too bad considering how crazy windy it really is. Let's see, does it let me adjust the camera angle? It does. And now it's just screaming, trying to fight the wind. And if I go back this way, full throttle again. 99.3, hmm, that's a little suspicious that it just tops out at 99.3 no matter what I do. Oh, now it's telling me there's an aircraft in the warning area. Fly with caution. That must be what happens when there's an airplane somewhere nearby and ADSB, and that airplane has ADSB to let me know where it is. It'd be really cool if it was like the the home icon where uh, it's on the on the screen directly. I can hear when the props are fighting the wind for sure.
Oh yeah, now it's, I think occasionally warning me that I should get rid of the spring that's in the throttle. It's really kind of annoying that's down there in the corner all the time. I'm not gonna get very much flight time today with it being about 35, 40 degrees outside. Super windy. And the clouds are moving in. At least I had sun when I started, but wow, yeah, the clouds are gonna cover that sun in no time. You can really see it off that direction. Very, very cloudy. I've only been flying for four minutes and the battery's down to 37%. Or no, four minutes is what I have left. Gosh, I don't know what the actual flight time has been. I don't think it tells me. Oh, I've been recording for seven minutes, so I guess it's still pretty decent flight time. But yeah, I've got to fly at this sort of an angle just so I'm sort of stay going the same direction. Let's see, should I go under this goalpost way out here in this wind? Ooh, that was closer than I wanted it to be. Yeah, I'm not quite ready to uh, do too much close proximity stuff with this drone yet, especially not on a crazy windy day like this. Normally I like to fly super close to pavement, but I don't think I can really do that with this because if I if I skid across the ground, it's going to hit the legs and it's going to just flip the machine right over. So that's not going to be something I can do with this one. I have to reserve that for my other drone instead. Yeah, there's somebody out for a, a cold morning walk. Two people. And now it's shaking a little bit going right into that wind. Oh, yeah, it's having a, quite the struggle. Well, now it says aircraft and warning zone again. All right, I'm getting down to 20%. Can I flip it into normal mode? Yes. Oh, gosh, look at that. It cannot handle flying this very well at all in this wind. Manual mode handled the wind way, way better than this. And will I even be able to land it? Oh, it landed. That was not easy though. It was at such an angle. Whoa, wind. All right, well, when that sun went away, it got a lot colder. But it is nice to be able to fly with the audio. That was something I missed for sure. All right, my hands are freezing now that it's so cold out here. Oh, my GoPro's even got some condensation around the lens or something. Anyway, successful flight and uh, time to go home and check out the video and uh, see how it looks. Otherwise, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.